brothers and sisters, friends, comrades, especially all my friends from New York City Labor Corps. Yeah. Yeah. Sadly, I haven't been away from for about six months since I went through all this hassle with my health and health issues. Uh, I just want to say a little bit, we're talking about people's lives, so you think about your life when you get a little older. There was a period of about 20, 24 years when I kind of drifted away from organized political activity in the party. And I kind of thought about things as I was working to make a living and had a cabinet shop. And I thought about where I came from. My, my, my grandpa's older brother, Yanko Jack, came to this country before anyone else in my family about 1910. Something like that. He was a, a mechanic that fixed the machines in the fur industry, the singer song machine in the fur industry. And that was the organization of the workers in fur had to take out Murder Incorporated yeah. first. And they did it. Uh, uh, ben Gold and Irvin Potash and, and the workers, men and women, international Jews, Russians, Greeks all kinds of different people have to unite together. And that's one type of political formation. That's a trade union. And a trade union unites all workers at the economic level to fight for their interests for a life they can live. Just as the fight of the fast food workers and the lowest paid workers today. My, my, my grandpa's brother died the year before I was born. Of course, on the picket line against the gangsters, he was hitting the kidneys with a tire iron, and he couldn't survive just a few years. The other brother was in Europe. He stayed when the Nazis took over Europe, and he is in a, in a statue that they have in the center of his little town, the Shtetl, that he came from right across the border from the Ukraine in Poland. Of course, they went up into the hills when the Nazis took over the town, came down at night. Kill the Nazis. They called it the uh, Nekoma Brigade, the Vengeance Brigade. Uh, so I'm thinking of, and there was my grandpa who I knew till you know, till my kids were already born, till he, until he was a great grandfather. He was a garment worker all his life in factories. Sold the uh, Yiddish language communist newspaper, the uh, the Freiheit. Uh, was a shop chairman all through the McCarthy period, even with all of that bread baiting, because he fought for workers day and night to defend their contract. I'm just talking about different ways that people struggle. And they're not all communists, they don't have all the answers. Usually the struggle is a coalition of communist, socialist, and independent radicals. And we also have to get a whole bunch of people who don't have much political education. But their interests are just the same because they're working people. And we have to concentrate on how to build those coalitions. Because every time we get a victory, like the Blasio and the Progressive Caucus, City Hall, you get the hedge fund managers putting their millions behind the Moskowitz and trying to confuse the whole issue. That's why I came back to the Communist Party, because they're the only ones that organize based on Leninist stra strategy and tactics. Does that mean they have all the answers? No. As a matter of fact, we, we admit more and more that we don't have all the answers, and we want more and more people to come and fight with us to help provide the answers. But when, when you get someone like de Blasio in, and then, or, or even Obama, even though he was weaker politically uh, in his overall outlook, uh, they can't really do what they want to do when they start getting attacked by the capitalists that have met all, all the billions at their command. We need a left component within all the people's coalitions that can organize the grassroots quickly and mobilize the The people have to be getting right, like the coalition of Newark. Yeah. Like the coalition of Newark, absolutely. And that's why I'm back with the party. I see a lot of people here who are friends of mine. Uh, some were active with me in the boys club. Me and Roque were active in the Lower East Side, the boys club, trying to organize for jobs for youth. 
and, and, uh, and helping on many other issues. I'm not going to uh, speak much longer. I'm going to finish off with a song, some, some songs that you can help join in on. But the importance of the left component in the People's Coalition for a people's agenda and for progress, it's really an anti-monopoly coalition that the party developed in the 80s on the Gus Hall. We, it was started maybe with the Mitrov in the coalition against fascism. But we move away from the idea that communists think a small vanguard can change the whole world. We move into the area where a huge struggle from the bottom represents all the people and the interests of all working people. And not only working people, small business people and, and people who really are being attacked and exploited by the, <coughs> by the monopoly. So that's an anti-monopoly coalition. That's and right. part of that, very important part of that, is the anti-ultra-right coalition, because these are neo-fascists. Yeah. Make no doubt about it. These are neo-fascists. So I won't say much more, but if Alan can come up here and join me, we hit a song or two, and you can join us.